morning. We're back at the creek. I've had to really work fast this morning. The sun was coming up through the trees. It was making it difficult to make shots. So I, I really just kind of rushed around and tried to get a few photos. Now we've got a few clouds rolling in, which is might extend my shooting time a little bit. We're on the lower section. I was waiting for the, the levels of the creek to drop to shoot down in here. And today I'm shooting, trying to shoot a panorama of this uh, area here. I just really like the way the rock, the, this rock shelf, the texture of it. This whole section, it might lead, lend itself well to a panorama. The shots I've done here, when I had time, I, I put on a, a polarizing filter and, and tried a few different strengths. I usually don't eliminate the reflections completely. I, I, I try to leave a little bit of, of that shine on the water. It gives it a little more sparkle. But I'm experimenting because some of this dark areas, I might want to be really kind of blackish, really dark. Take, so taking that shine off might might give me a really nice contrast because the, the rocks over here are pretty light. I mean, I even need the uh, polarizing filter to, to accomplish that. But. It gives me options. So along with the panoramic shot, I've got a number of shots just of, the, of this little waterfall here. And I also shot up on that lip, just close to the water, just before it goes over the fall. Kind of tying the two falls together. It's a little different look. I won't know which of these images I'm going to use until I just get them all together and decide which ones work best for the project. Just got to take a bunch of shots and <laughs> figure out what's going to work best later on, you know. Well, while it's, if the clouds stay up, we might be able to get a few more shots. Maybe I'm going to, so maybe I'll run up to a different section of the park and see if I can find something else. I was attracted to these boulders and then this stream running next to it. I'm, I'm trying this as a panoramic shot. I'm trying to catch, capture the, the boulders is kind of the, the main part of the, of the uh, image with the creek off to the right as kind of context. The light's changing really fast. So I'm, I'm, clouds are coming and going. So I don't know if my exposures are going to be even enough to make a make a good stitch. I tried it a couple different ways. We'll see. I think I'm going to try one more shot. I'm almost done with the roll. When you do stitching, you, you kind of go through film. So I'm going to. I think I'm going to try this with a 20 millimeter. And get a, a little bit closer. When you get a little closer, you can you can get higher, so you, you kind of get uh, a different perspective of the boulders. When you're back down here a little lower, it, it kind of compresses them a little bit. When you come up here, you can get that wide angle look that kind of pushes them back a little, pushes, kind of opens up the frame a little bit. I'm not sure which one's going to be most effective. I think I probably should try to get a shot before it gets too harsh in here. Well, I finished the roll, 36 exposure. I think we're going to call that good for today. I'm curious to see how these panoramic shots turned out. 
I think we'll uh, go back to the office and uh, put those together. So that'll be coming up here in this video. So you might want to stay tuned. Before we finish this video, I thought I'd put one of these panels together in Affinity Photo. Kind of walk you through the process. Affinity Photo's made stitching quite easy. So we're just going to go through the process, just how you do it. Go up to File. We're going to start a new panorama. Click Add. We're going to find your photos. Click on the images. They're numbered. Make sure I've got them all there. It looks right. Then you click Stitch Panorama. Really doesn't take too long. If that looks right to you, then click OK. And it'll load the document. Now it's going to render it. You can see the lines where it's uh, where all the frames are, how it's tried to align them. It's where the magic happens. I, every time I see it do that, it just blows my mind. Then hit apply. And the first thing I would do now would be to set the uh, crop. I'm going to use a custom ratio. We're going to do a, a 17 by 6. Okay, it looks pretty good. Apply. And then from there you would just edit just like you would any other photograph. You can zoom in and, and make sure there's no uh, artifacts that you need to take care of. This looks pretty good. Don't see any major ghosting or anything. Everything looks nice and smooth. And it's a nice balanced image to start with. I have my highlights still there. And I've got enough detail in the shadows that I'm happy with. Now I just have to adjust the contrast, do a little dodging and burning, and I'll have a pretty decent image, I think. Thanks for joining me on another outing in this making of a zine project. I'm really enjoying this project. I'm having a lot of fun. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.